General Motors has just issued an immediate and urgent stop sale of the new Chevrolet Blazer electric car. What is the reason for this? Well, it's not good. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Thank you for tuning in. You know what? I hope you had an amazing 2023. We're about to hit 2024. And 2024 is going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, that said, for General Motors, I don't know that 2024 will necessarily be a great year. We thought 2023 would be a great year for them. They said it would be. They said that they'll be making more than twice as many EVs as what they made. Um, are they really going to hit those numbers? The numbers they keep on saying they're going to hit, are they really going to smash Tesla out of the water? They've said that they will do so. In fact, General Motors said in 2025, they'll be selling more EVs than Tesla will be, significantly more. Uh, clearly, that is not going to happen. However, the Blazer EV was meant to be one of those cars that took market share from Tesla that said, you know what, Tesla, you don't have a direct competitor for this. This is different. This is a car that people want to buy. It doesn't look like an EV. It's a bit bigger than a Tesla Model Y. It's within people's budgets. It qualifies for EV incentives. It just went on sale and the price was higher than we all thought it would be by a lot higher. In fact, $10,000 higher than we all thought it would be. And all of a sudden, they started breaking down. And I don't mean just breaking down. I mean, we're talking, for example, one journalist at Edmonds who tested the car had 23 major problems with it, which uh, it doesn't appear that GM knows why these problems are occurring. And that's the scary part. Because General Motors doesn't really know why these problems are occurring, it has had to issue this recall. Following a week of reports about problems with the new Chevrolet Blazer EV, uh, including from various journalists where they the cars have just been completely bricked, uh, General Motors has had to make this pretty drastic decision. Automotive News says that the stop sale order was issued late on Friday and affects a limited number of Blazer EVs. I don't think that's uh, correct. There's only a limited number on the roads. I mean, they haven't sold very many yet. Anyway. GM didn't say how many are impacted, but there's only 1,000 currently for sale nationwide. I, I'm struggling to understand this because I thought General Motors had plenty of pre-orders. I don't know why they'd have them for sale. I thought these, these would have been customer cars that are just waiting to go out to customers. So this is confusing. I tried to do some research on this and from what I've seen, GM did say they had a few thousand pre-orders. So why there's already 1,000 vehicles at dealers that don't have customers yet I don't know. This is this is probably even more perplexing for me personally. Chevrolet engineers are working on solving the issues related to the vehicle's touchscreen. So the software is the big problem here. And rarely during charging attempts at some public DC fast chargers. So at public DC fast chargers, the vehicles have been, well, they stop charging and you just can't charge them anymore. That's been one of the problems reported. Here's what GM said. We are aware that a limited number of Blazer EV owners have experienced they said software quality issues. Now, that's a real big understatement here because the reality is the software isn't turning on. I mean, the touchscreens are just not turning on. So basically they're flashing on, flashing off, flashing on, flashing off, and just sort of shutting down. So you can't even drive your car at all. To ensure our customers have a great experience with their vehicle, we are temporarily pausing sales of Blazer EVs. Our team is working quickly to roll out a fix and owners will be contacted with further information on how to schedule their update. We apologize for the inconvenience. Now, there's probably a good decision here because um, you don't want any more owners or potential owners getting their EVs and having all of these problems. Scott Bell, who is the vice president of Chevrolet said, customer satisfaction is our priority and as such, we will take a brief pause on new deliveries. Now, General Motors claims that this, these issues are not safety related, but considering the touch screens, the media screens are just bricking themselves. I do think that's a safety issue personally. Anyhow, if you want to know about some of these um, issues, um, Edmunds issued a scathing report saying that their vehicle completely bricked itself. It had 23 major failures. They're not the only ones. There's been a few journalists who have had similar problems, but I made a video about that and I'll put a link in the description below. Blazer EV owners have contacted numerous uh, numerous organizations, numerous um, reporters. In fact, I've received a couple of emails as well. I'm um, saying that there was numerous issues across GM's Ultium branded car. So Cadillac Lyric, the Hummer EV and the Blazer EV as well. For some reason, the Bolt EV and the Bolt EV, different platform, uh, different software system, they work fine. So yeah, 
it's good to know that the vehicle that GM has just stopped manufacturing works well and the new ones don't really work. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.